As a painter, Carla Bank produces art that exhilarates the viewer with color and vibrancy. Joining us now is artist Carla Bank. Welcome to Community Connection. Thank you so vibrancy much. Vibrancy is such a good word to describe your work because it just pops. The colors, the textures, the images. How did you become inspired to become an artist? Oh my God. Um, well, I was, I, I was born and raised in Mexico City and that city has they say that about 150 museums. So when I was a little girl, when I was six, uh, my, the, my school took us as a field trip to the Frida Kahlo Museum. And you know, I was just mesmerized with her art and, and you, know, you see her bedroom, her, stu her wheelchair, her studio, her color. So, so that just, uh, you know, I, I, just, I was just amazed with that and, and that sparked my, my cur curiosity as a kid. And I couldn't stop thinking about how do she do that? Like, how, how can I do that? Like, and you know, just, you gotta do it when you're little. <laughs> so when we were off camera, you said that what Sheridan said in our previous segment about being at a museum at a young age just sparked something in you. Yes. It really triggered an interest and engaged your curiosity. Yes. Because you pay attention to other things that adult, that as an adult, we don't pay attention to certain things, but as, as kids, those, little things, you know, spark your curiosity and, and that's what got me to, to what I do. You know, I, I'm so grateful that I discovered what I, uh, I had it. I, I love what I di did, but I never knew that, that I could use that as a professional career. So fast forward from age six to current day, how were you able to create a career out of your art? It was uh, by accident, <laughs> as so many things are. I never are. paid attention to school because I was always painting and, and, and drawing and, and staring at things and trying to make shadows and colors and, and they labeled me as a problem child. And once I started, uh, you know, just, just it was, I used it as a therapy. Be and then, you know, I, that was like my happy moment, my, my peaceful uh, uh, way to, you know, every Express time. Express yourself. My, my, yeah, I, I used to. I started expressing myself and, and by accident, I just started to, to do paintings and people, hey, can you do one for me? And, and I discovered the way, you know, I, I just discovered my, my, the reason <laughs> of my life, I guess. So you create all types of artwork. Um, what's your favorite medium to work uh, in? I love, I love just acrylic. I love oil, but it takes, it takes uh, a long uh, way to dry, a, lo a long time to dry. Uh, so acrylic uh, is quicker. I love just to pour acrylics, to, to, to mix colors, uh, to, to work it with my hands and get dirty. It's just very, uh, you know, it's, it's just amazing to do that. How would you describe your work? Like three words to describe your work. Uh, uplifting, vibrant, uh, and happy. <laughs> That's a, and yeah. you and that is kind of a recurring theme in your artwork, even in the images that have words associated with them. That almost like a choose happy mantra. Yes, 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 yes. And it's all about placing the, the way you place the colors together, because you know the colors can either come blend in or you can make them pop out. So it's like if they're in a party and you put them with people that, you know, it's like people like the co some colors don't get along very well and <laughs> some colors. So you separate just, those colors. <laughs> yes, and some of them, they just, you know, the connection makes it pop, makes it, it's all about placement. Well, you have a wonderful website, carlabank.com, that shows highlights of, of your images, but it also has a full listing of the art shows and you travel all yes. around the country. Yes. What do you find that people are drawn to? Ah, uh, you, you know, you start just, yeah, art, art, is, is, art is a career that takes you places. It's not that I pick what I want to do. Like uh, uh, w when I do something, uh, you see the reaction of the people is what makes you take different uh, ways. Okay, so y the direction that you go is kind of based on feedback. Is that yes, what you're saying? Yes, yes. Like you, you know, you see the reaction, or, or c uh, when are you uh, are you going to do more of this, or can I? custom this piece and, and because you start costuming work, then your, 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 you know, your, your work evolves, uh, takes other places and it has taken me to a lot of, you know, even around the world, I, I, I go to mu uh, museums in crazy, you know, I, I recently was in Qatar because I found a museum 
and I found an artist that I loved uh, from uh, Iraq. And I never thought, you know, uh, art doesn't have borders. It just takes you and, 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 and you don't see uh, artists because, you know, you, you don't care about political issues. You just, right, you the just, art just speaks, to you. speaks to you. So then I, I've been to a lot of, uh, you know, Singapore, uh, Budapest, and it's just because art, because it calls you, it goes, oh my God, I want to see this museum, I want to see this artist, and, and you know, it's, it's a good reason to, to, to go everywhere. <laughs> so you're inspired by colors, you're inspired colors. by other artists? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, you know, if, if you see uh, an artist, uh, you see a style that you like, it calls you. Uh, there's a lot of styles that, that I don't, I'm not attracted to, but there's other styles that, that just, you know, I started looking at these pieces that, oh my God, how did they do and it? And so somehow they influence you. Well, mm -hmm. you're on Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest, CarlaBank.com. Thank you for being with us today. Look Thank forward you to so much. watching your work progress. Thank you very much.